still funneling back. McAnespy guiding one down towards Makara. Well defended. Now O'Sullivan. Chance here, lots of space. Oh, slipped as he delivered it. You could see what he was looking for. There was lots of space. Jordan Morrison made a great run across the pitch, and it's just that losing his foot and killing O'Sullivan. He disappointed. It was an opportunity. That's probably where the space opens up for me. If they get that turnover and before Monaghan get back. It was a feature of the game against Kerry in particular. Monaghan kicked an awful lot of ball away, and they wouldn't be run out as a kicking team generally. But that foot pass in towards McCarran in these conditions isn't always going to stick. Oh, that's a Ooh, shocker. Slappy. And Go now on. the break is on. There's nobody at home for Monaghan. Now can me get the ball away? Slip through. There's still nobody in the Monaghan goal. And a chance for Carl Hickey, perhaps. And oh, Mead have made it. them pay. <laughs> you could see the second the turnover happened, the Mead players had goal on their mind. It's a brilliant goal. But Monaghan caught again, Rory Began caught out of position. How many times have we seen that goal throughout the championship? It's brilliantly executed from me. They could have clipped a point once or twice. And three times in the second half against Cavan in the opening round of the Ulster Championship, Paddy, they were caught in such a fashion. Cavan only made them pay late on with the goal from Paddy Lynch. But you have to hand it to me that their patience there because there were many opportunities for them exactly. to pull the trigger once they'd forced the turnover, but they just kept their goal, their complete.